Just like I have mentioned in my website that the mystical temple or the holy temple or the body of Christ, which is us, it represents or it promotes the value of love, respect, peace, unity, and prosperity. All this mentioned are the real symbol and the real meaning of God. Now first I have to tackle about love, which is the first one that's been mentioned here, the value of love. Like everybody knows and it's been always mentioned that God is love. Yes, God is love. Because if there's love, and this is what I'm saying again on my website, if there is love, there'll be no more rage, misery, neglect, sorrow, suffering, pain, unhappiness, anger, and hatred. Sometimes you feel that everybody is so outraged or everybody is so angry. Everybody seems to be very, very cruel and they're inflicting us unhappiness. And of course, once you are unhappy, we tend to be angry. We, hand, we tend to have hatred in our hearts. And sometimes you often use the words or the questions, where is love? If there is God, where is love? How come I don't feel loved at all? How come I am being, being, criticized or being maltreated or being subjected to critics by these people where is love and that's when i said god is love and if you're going to realize the absence of it love equals god and the opposite of it is hatred, misery, suffering, pain. That's equivalent to the demon or Satan. The absence of love is equivalent to Satan. And the idea of Satan is greed discontentment, anger, hatred, jealousy, or whatever you would feel that could actually invade anybody's life. Of course, if somebody is going to maltreat you or somebody is going to hate you, for whatever you do or whatever you show or whatever you say. And of course that would make us feel bad or that would really make us feel angry. And that's the reason why we should do something in order to be loved because it's what you show or it's what you give and then that's what you get back if you show love and then people will show you love in return if you give love and then that's what they give you in return if you share love and that's what they share you in return so whatever you do in terms of love and happiness and that's what keeps you alive and that's what keeps you loved and happy.
contented, feeling of love is the best thing that you could ever have. And once you have that, that's when you would feel and say that you are in heaven. Heaven is the highest wisdom that anyone has. It is state, it is the state of mind or it is the state of emotion where you are spiritually happy and living with that everlasting happiness that your spirit could ever have. And that's what everyone ought to need. And that's what everyone ought to dream. Dreaming of love equals dreaming of happiness. And dreaming of happiness equals dreaming of heaven. And dreaming of heaven equals dreaming of eternal love and that eternal love is God.